In the quiet solitude of a little hut nestled at the foot of a serene mountain, there lived a Zen master named Ryakin. He was known throughout the land not for his material possessions or worldly achievements, but for the depth of his wisdom and the simplicity of his life. Ryakin's dwelling was a sanctuary of tranquility, where the only adornments were the changing hues of the seasons outside his window. His possessions were meager, and his needs were minimal. In this humble abode, he found contentment and fulfillment, living in harmony with the rhythms of nature. One evening, as the sky turned to ink and the stars emerged one by one, an unexpected visitor arrived at Ryakin's door. It was a thief, drawn perhaps by rumors of hidden treasures or the allure of worldly riches. Little did the thief know that he had embarked on a journey that would forever change his life. As the thief entered the sparsely furnished hut, he quickly realized that there was nothing of material value to steal. No precious jewels adorned the walls, no chests filled with gold gleamed in the corners. Ryakin, the Zen master, possessed nothing of worldly wealth. Just as the thief was about to retreat into the night, Ryakin returned to his hut. He had sensed the presence of the intruder, and, without judgment or anger, had allowed the thief to explore the emptiness of his abode. You have come a long way to visit me, Ryakin remarked calmly as he confronted the bewildered prowler, and you should not return empty-handed, please take my clothes as a gift. The thief stood frozen, taken aback by the unexpected generosity of the man he had intended to rob. Ryakin, with a gentle smile, began to disrub, leaving himself completely naked before the thief. The thief, his heart and mind in turmoil, hesitated no longer. He accepted the offering of Ryakin's clothes and wrapped them around himself. As he made his way into the night, he carried with him not only the stolen garments, but also a newfound understanding as seed of transformation had been planted in his soul. Ryakin, now standing naked in the moonlight, watched as the thief disappeared into the darkness. He felt no anger or resentment, only a sense of compassion and understanding for the plight of his unexpected guest. With the thief gone, Ryakin turned his attention to the heavens above. The night sky stretched out before him, adorned with the luminous glow of the moon and the shimmering tapestry of stars. It was a sight of breathtaking beauty, a reminder of the vastness and wonder of the universe. Ah, poor fellow, Ryakin mused, his heart filled with empathy. I wish I could have given him this beautiful moon. As he stood there bathed in the moonlight, Ryakin felt a profound sense of connection with all of existence. He realized that the true treasures of life were not material possessions, but the experiences and moments that touched the soul the beauty of a moonlit night, the serenity of a simple life, and the compassion that flowed from the depths of the heart. Ryakin's act of generosity, born from a place of deep understanding and compassion, had offered the thief an unexpected gift and opportunity for transformation and a glimpse into the profound wisdom of a Zen master. In the days that followed, the thief found himself reflecting on his encounter with Ryakin. The stolen clothes no longer held any value for him, instead, it was the lesson of compassion and selflessness that had left an indelible mark on his heart. He began to question the choices he had made in life and the path he had chosen. The memory of Ryakin's kindness served as a beacon, guiding him toward a new way of living one that was rooted in empathy, simplicity, and the recognition of the interconnectedness of all beings. The thief's transformation was gradual, but it was profound. He left behind a life of crime and sought a more meaningful existence. He dedicated himself to acts of kindness and compassion, following the example set by the Zen master who had offered him the moon. In the end the thief discovered that the truest treasures were not found in the accumulation of wealth or possessions, but in the boundless capacity of the human heart to offer understanding, forgiveness, and love. Ryakin's simple act of giving had illuminated the thief's path toward a life of greater meaning and purpose, and he carried the memory of that moonlit night with him as a reminder of the profound potential for transformation that resides within us all.